All right, folks, how are you doing? So today I've got a bicep exercise variation that is perfect for you if you're someone that doesn't seem to get an amazing mind-muscle connection. Don't You don't really get a great pump from a lot of bicep exercises. You sort of feel like you go through the motions, maybe feeling shoulders, maybe elbows quite a lot, the joints, never just getting that amazing pump or that deep soreness that other people seem to talk about. Uh, so we're gonna cover an exercise that's really gonna hit that today. If you are new to the channel, then I'm Alex. I run Character Strength and Conditioning. It's a coaching business all about delivering high quality information from elite sport so that everyone can access good quality strength, conditioning, programming, uh, sort of like articles, content, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so if you've got a couple of seconds and you feel like you want to subscribe, uh, hit the like, do the commenty, sharey goodness, that helps the whole YouTubes. Uh, let's jump into it. So you just need a basic bench. You can tell I'm in a home gym, so a simple like 50 quid bench setup. Gonna have it on a bit of an angle, so it's not like super, super far down, a little bit of an incline. We're gonna do like a lying incline dumbbell curl. You wanna go super light with this. So this is six kilos, go slightly higher reps as well. So we're not gonna go dead heavy, not gonna go in that five to 10 rep scheme. Think more like 15 to 25, maybe even up to 30. You're gonna be back slightly, and we're gonna do, let's have the elbows behind the body and curl up from here. You get a deep stretch in the biceps at the bottom, almost to the point where you can contract your triceps, and then you come back up. That deep stretch, you're gonna feel your biceps like nothing else. Try and keep elbows behind the body all the way through. You might find it easier if you keep your legs fairly narrow, so you can keep your arms in. I'm gonna take this set all the way through so you can physically see that it causes a lot of goddamn pain. I'm gonna go to the far end of the set. I might even add in a sneaky little my rep set at the end. Holy oh, moly, you can feel it already. Let's see if we can get to 20 plus. I think that's 10. Blimey, eight, 11, 12, same again. Control down, deep stretch, contract, back up. Oh, 14, you'll notice when I get tired, failure comes by me starting to just fall out of the best form a little bit. Oh, and I'll allow it a little bit because I don't mind. I think that's 17. 18, holy moly. 19, ah, my whole biceps are on fire. 20, oh, can we get a couple more? 21, Woo. and oh, 22. I'm gonna rest three to five seconds, a little shake out if you need. I'm gonna go straight back into another few reps, just to get that last little bit. Oh, these will be super effective reps because you've already got a crazy pump. Your muscles are already fatigued. Same again. Control down. I know. Control down. Try and keep them back. Squeeze up. See if I can get five of these. <laughs> oh, my form's going to hell. So I can get one more. <laughs> and done. That is a fantastic exercise. If you've struggled to feel your biceps before, that deep stretch at the bottom, and that big squeeze up at the top. I promise you, you're gonna get a bicep pump like you've probably never had before. Give it a try. If you enjoy it, if you think it's a useful exercise variation or if it's something you've tried yourself and incorporated in your training, let me know in the comments. Uh, if you've got any other tips for execution, coaching cues that you think people might benefit from, same again, drop them in the comments, help some people out. Uh, that is it for today. If you've got a few seconds and like you uh, want to do the whole like subscribe thing, it helps the YouTube algorithm. And uh, yeah, I think that is it for today. Any other suggestions for future exercises you want me to cover, drop them down in the comments, and I will catch you all in the next one. See you there.